Good morning, friends. Station of the Cross, day seven. Thanks for joining me this holy week as we have journeyed to the cross. And this morning, we're going to look at Luke's gospel. Luke chapter 24, verse 1. And it says these words. On the very first day of the week, very early in the morning, the woman took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in, clo in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground. But the man said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee? The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. Then they remembered his words. When they came back from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven and to all the others. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary, the mother of James, and others with them, who told this to the apostles. But they did not believe the women, because their words seemed to be nonsense. Peter, however, got up and ran to the tomb. Bending over, he saw the strips of linen lying by themselves, and he went away, wondering to himself what had happened. This morning, our devotional is brought to us by Major June Dwyer. On the first Easter morning, God had the whole world in his hands and on his mind too, when he inserted the resurrection of Christ into, the, into history. Three words said it all. He is risen. The puzzle was solved. Not a dead Messiah, but a living Savior, he is risen. What a record of victory, signaling, signaling to the world to whom the last words belong. Importantly, demonstrating his victory over death, guaranteeing the believers forgiveness and future resurrection. So today, the summary of evidence of the resurrection remains in changed life, walking testimony, the community of all believers and the taste of glory divine. Easter was the most exciting day of the disciples' lives. They met him as a touchable, approachable, forgiving Lord. That's what God wants for all of us. A living Christ needs two witnesses who, like the early women to the tomb, have something worth telling directly out of their own experience. Christianity is true. And Christianity works out what is our Easter witness. So the empty tomb still has a timeless message. He is risen indeed. The truth goes marching on every day, all year, all around the world. And that will never change. Celebrate it forever. Our prayer this morning brought to us from Colonel David Hiscock, says this. Father God, I'm looking for you in all the wrong places, looking for the living among the dead, distracted by my busyness, wearied by my petty pursuits, deceived by my own good deeds, and paralyzed by my past failures. Unveil my eyes, Lord, and let me see your face. Cause me to remember, to believe, to know that you are alive, alive in me. I know that you are the Christ, the living one. O Lord of joy, alive in me, you are all I need.
Amen. Thank you, friends, for joining me on this seven-day journey to the stations on the Stations of the Cross. Hopefully, as you've gone through this, you've had a time to reflect on each of those stations. He is risen indeed. Let's act like it.